We've had an absolutely amazing day full of films. We had street food outside. We've had face painting. We've had storytelling, arts and crafts. We've been incredibly creative making animations. I've made an animation with my sister. It was very fun. We made the wardrobe move and the chairs when we've made them chase each other around the table. We had like some clay and we had to make like figures and we had to like animate them on the computer so you could move the figures around and play with them and make your own video. So much activity going on here for the families. For us today we've had a performance going on inside our studio and then we did a little crafts to go with it and then outside we've been doing kite making. Children just, their eyes just light up when they come in and they see there's so much junk to start playing with. But there's a lot of parents doing the crafts and stuff as well. It's not just the kids. They've gone there with the kids and suddenly the parents are involved. Next thing you see, they're building their own. We also invited an artist who created an amazing zoetrope, a huge old Victorian animation kind of toy. When people can spin it and look through the slats and see the films that are going on inside. And they have also made their own little zoetropes, which they can take home afterwards. We're showing so many animation films and we chose a few films that all had one thing in common, which was the animator. So we had Tim Allen, who is a uh, stop-motion animator, and he has worked with people like Wes Anderson on Fantastic Mr. Fox. Um, he did lots of Tim Burton films and he came to give a talk, sort of a Q&A, stroke masterclass, and he's just run a workshop as well. Well, it's a fascinating event for families and friends and the kids are really having a nice time and it's a very safe environment. It's, it's lovely to be here. Everybody's entertained, the kids are happy and the food is good as well, you know, pizza, that never goes wrong with kids. The Greek stuff is really nice uh, and paella, so you've kind of, kind of covered Italy, Spain and Greece. My highlight is definitely seeing the park used, the mansion house used, in a different way. I have met so many people from around the local area, people I've known for a long time, people I met only a few weeks ago, and some very new people. It's been a real, a real bonding experience. It's very busy. I've never seen Beckham Pitt Park like this. It's free, it's exciting, it's vibrant. There's lots and lots of different activities for anyone of all ages to do.